Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem in which we have to compute the taxable income from a profession of a lawyer. So they have given the receipts and payment account. Left side is all your receipts and right side is all your payments. And they've given certain additional information also. Half of the car expenses are related to personal use. So means in the total car expenses, whatever is there, half only is for profession and remaining half is for personal use. So we will consider only half. Next, they have given the depreciation rates. Then 25% of the telephone expenses pertain to personal work. So out of total uh, telephone expenses, 25% of which is related to his personal usage. So remaining 75% only we will take it into consideration. Half of the electric charges are for the house property. So total electricity charges, whatever he has shown in that half of the electricity, electricity charges is for his house property. So we will not consider that next gifts from client rupees 10,000 not included in the above account. So he has received 10,000 rupees gift from his client, but he has not shown it in his receipts and payment account. Loan from bank is for personal use. So just ignore that. Using this information, let us try to calculate. Have three column, particulars, amount and amount column. First, we will write all the professional receipts. So let us look into the left side. Balance brought down. So ignore balance brought down. Do not consider that. Arbitration fees. It is related to the profession of a lawyer. So 2,40,000 you have to consider it. Next, legal counseling fees 30,000. That is also a professional receipts. So you need to consider that also. Next. Loan from bank. Ignore that. Rent from property also ignore that. Interest on fixed bank fixed deposit bank fixed deposits that is interest from income from other sources ignore that dividend from Tata Limited it is income from other sources ignore that share of revenue from HUF that is a tax free income so ignore that next if you see the additional information it is told that gift from client rupees ten thousand is not included in the above account so you have to include that. So take that 10,000 rupees into consideration. Now, if you add all these things, you will get the total professional receipts that is 2,80,000. From this, you have to subtract all the professional payments, which will be there in the right side. Staff salary is 56,000. You have to consider that staff salary 56,000. Next, you have professional books. So professional books purchase is a capital expenditure, but we will show only depreciation on that. So depreciation on professional books, the total value of professional books is 18,000. So the depreciation rate as per IT rule is 40%. So 18,000 into 40% will be 7,200. Subscription to gen journals. So that is, you, you will allow it. Subscription to journals is 2,000 rupees. We will allow. Refreshment charges of 4,000 rupees that also we will allow it is a professional payment next rent of an office so in order to run, run the office he has taken a rented building and he is paying the monthly rent for it 15,000 rupees that is also allowable next you have a telephone charges of rupees 18,000 so if you see the additional information 25% of the telephone expenses is related to his personal work so only 75% we will allow. So 18,000 is the total telephone charges in that 75% is used for his professional purpose. So only that 75% we will allow. So 13,500 you will get. Next you have printing charges of 3000 rupees that printing charges we will allow 3000 rupees. Next electric charges. So 6,000 is electric charges. We have depreciation, uh, we have additional information pertaining to the electric charges that is half of which is used for house property. So remaining half of the electricity charges that is 6000 into half that is 3000 rupees is for his profession. So that only we will consider. Next purchase of car. So car purchase is a capital expenditure, but we will allow only depreciation on that. So depreciation rate for car is 15%. The total value of car is 2,50,000 into 15%. 
if you see the additional information they have given that half of the car is used for personal use so remaining half which is used for professional use that will be considered so you will get a value of 18750 next you have purchase computer purchased again computer purchase is a capital expenditure we will allow only depreciation on computers purchased 50000 is a value of computers and the standard depreciation rate as per it rules is 40% so 50000 into 40% you will get 20000 rupees next you have car expenses so total car expenses is 7000 but complete 7000 rupees we will not allow because half of which is used for us personal use also remaining half whatever he has used for profession that we will only consider 3500 rupees next contribution to ppf is nowhere related to his profession so just ignore that nsc purchase national uh, savings certificate purchased that is also it is nowhere related to his profession so just ignore that bar association fees that is related to advocates so that we will consider 2000 rupees next balance carried down you will ignore so that's all about the professional payments if you add everything you will get 147950 the total professional receipts were 280000 from that the professional payments total professional payments is 147950 if you subtract both you get 132050 rupees that is your total professional taxable amount of income from profession that is a taxable income from profession this is how we need to solve the problem hope you have understood how to solve the problem in my further videos i'll come back with some more problems related to income from profession of a lawyer